Hey everybody, Cyberbard here. Um, I'm starting a new episode of uh, West of Loathing. So last time we uh, we took a little uh, jaunt into uh, the soup mine, and uh, well, I decided that uh, we could skip that. I wasn't a big fan of it. I was getting annoyed with the uh, elevator puzzle, and it was taking more time than I would have liked. I preferred to spend some time doing something that would be more entertaining. So. What I did instead, it's not because I couldn't figure it out, I could, but I didn't want to spend the time to do it. I figured, no, nah, I'd rather just move on and get more content. So here we are. We are in, what is this place called again? Reboot Hill. This is where Alice wanted to come. Uh, Doc Alice directed us here as soon as we blew through the uh, the dynamite area with the, the rock golem. So this is a big, giant graveyard from the looks of it. So Doc Alice is really going to... Uh, pay her way through here. So let's take a look and see what we've got on Reboot Hill. Here we are scooting our butt on the ground. Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint. What do we have here? Anything with these candles? Anything behind here? Nothing. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Before I go up, I'm going to see if there's anything to the right. And it's quite desolate. Doesn't seem to be anything... What? A keyhole in the trunk of this tree. Interesting. This is unexpected, so we need to find a key. If we find a key, at least we know that there might be something of interest there. I'm going to check these other trees. No, nothing. Alright, let's make our way into Reboot Hill up to the gate. Ooh, there's a ghost. Before we go there, though. Rebecca Smith. Wise old Jed Marmot. This time, the bar ain't him. Ground here seems reasonably soft. Dig it up. Marmot skin... Oh my god, plus seven pistol attack? That's a lot of damage. Ooh. This hat's original owner was a crack shot but he lost his gun in a card game and got eaten by a bear almost immediately afterwards. Ah, so we're referring to a bear and not a bar. This hat is still really good though, and I don't want to get rid of it. That pistol damage though, man oh man, that's a lot of damage. I will hold on to that hat, and we're probably going to use it later because that's fun. Also, I really like having this awesome Pope hat. Tripe? Hi. Filled with intestines, it just goes to show one man's nightmare garbage is another man's dinner. There's nothing wrong with tripe. Hmm. Why, hello there. I am going to wreck you. Oh man, these are actually kind of tough. Thankfully, what we can do is this. Or would this be better? No, this would definitely be better. Okay. Let's uh, get shooty here. Ah, crap. Um, you're probably going to do the most damage, so... Saw that guy in half. Good job, Alice. Ouch. Oh, no. Ooh, that could have been really, really bad. As it is, it's still going to be really bad. Um, I'm actually probably not going to survive this one. I might. I might. I need to heal myself significantly, though. I wonder how many of these I can actually get away with. This will heal me. Well, that worked. I'm going to get a lot of exper experience from this fight. This is actually quite intense. Let's go back to the smelling salts. Salts. 
sniff that smelling salt. Yes. Clearly this is not cocaine. See, there's no point in doing this. I think what I need to do instead is this. I'm going to fan the hammer. Now, why does it do so much less damage? There has to be something else going on here. I'm going to use a silver bullet on him, just to get him out of the way. There, this is... No, actually my damage just keeps going down. Hmm. I think that's probably just to avoid abuse. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to take a pot shot at you, good sir. You are going down. You can pump your stats all you want. I am going to wreck you. Nothing can stand against Doc Alice. Or at least skeletons can't. Oh, I get it. They're pumping their stats. That's why they're harder to kill. I wasn't thinking about the defense aspect of that. Okay, so you really want to wreck these guys quickly. So you gain 200 experience points. Fantastic. Good job, Alice. Now, let's take a look at the XP. We have 510 XP, which is quite a bit. Now, it's not going to do us a whole lot of good if we... Uh, bust out our deploy snake here because these guys don't get poisoned. So I think what would probably be the most interesting thing to do, you know what, I'm going to save my experience for the moment and we'll see what we can get. Here lie the sweet gang, may they never wake up. Take the sword, sweet sword plus six moxie, wow, and it's 12 to 15 damage, big time. Oh man, but the artillery sable, the artillery saber. Mm. Oh man. Tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slap on the sweet sword, and I'm going to get rid, unfortunately, my fake pope hat. I'm going to pop on the marmot skin cap. There we go. Now we look like a badass. Okay. Let us see what else we have here. No, wait, I don't want to go there yet. No! Damn you for being tricky to navigate. So plot won't... This is really irritating. Okay. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed, above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Howdy, ma'am. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Um, you, uh, you know you're a ghost, right? Oh yes, in fact I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them and I suppose my old heart finally gave out that's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. So, what did you forget? I brought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed, and I can't bear to live until I've remembered. Bear to leave, I see. Well, maybe I can help you figure it out. Oh, thank you. I'd appreciate that ever so much. No problem, ma'am. Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? Okay, this is going to be another puzzle, so I'm going to leave this for now. I'm not in the mood for that. I'm in the mood to get some things done. So let's see, plot two. Oh, dig him up. Decent whiskey. Ooh. 
as opposed to nurse whiskey. Fred Deeks, patent emetic. Here's poison. Always good. Wow, this is a great graveyard for digging. First lady bicyclist ride off a cliff. So sad. Riding boots. Ooh, plus one maximum AP and plus three speed. Plus one maximum AP, plus three moxie. You know what? I kind of prefer the moxie to the speed. Moxie gives us too much good stuff. Loot the picnic. All right. A gothic cameo. Hmm. In a blood sausages and clove drops. So that's still pretty good. We got some interesting stuff here. Let's see what there is on the right side of this plot. Perhaps we have more. Big and fancy, and there's a door on the front. Open the door. Inside there's a document and a weird little metal object. Read the document. The document describes a tontine, the burial wishes of Chet Bustersley, and a weird sequence of letters. I'm going to write these down, of course. So it is B T L I T R. But the litter. Huh? Inside there is a document and a weird little metal object. Take the object. You pick up the object. It looks like a piece of a broken key. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, remember the tree trunk. Perhaps this will be of use to us. Hmm. Now, we can pick this, thankfully. Inside the tombstone is a document and a weird little metal object. Read the document. O-H-L-G-H-E O-H-L-G-H-E Hmm. And take the object. Key fragment. Alright. Let us assemble the key. Ah, we need multiple pieces. Okay. This tombstone is big and fancy and has a safe embedded in it. So I need safe cracking. I need a way to get safe cracking. It's extremely important that I get this skill. And I don't know where I can get that. And I don't want to cheat. Xavier Hornhog ran from air right off a cliff. Man, there's a lot of people who are having problems with cliffs in this graveyard. <laughs> that one guy. You know the one. Yeah, him. Let's dig that up. Handful of loose teeth. The skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening, apart from being a general reminder of your own mortality. Uh, hello? Who are you? My name's Bernard, but shh, lower your voice. They'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Shh, yes. Not a fan? They're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated. It sounds horrible. Can you imagine having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention cold. Sure, well, plus I mean, dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life just when you've got used to being dead, right? I could see that. Please, can you do something? I, I don't want them to find me. Okay, I'll let you know when it's safe. Great, thanks. I'll just hang back here until the coast is clear. So I guess we're going to fight some cultists, but they're probably over on the left side. We are at the last plot, so... Let us see. Dig it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. You're not going to get past this barrier of whirling bones without, well, making it so there's no barrier of whirling bones here anymore. Shoot them. You draw your pistol and deftly shoot the floating bones into bits that are too small to float. You gain 30 XP. Easy peasy. These cultists look like they're barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Hmm. We interrupt or wait a while and see what happens? Let's wait a while and see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton wrests itself from the cultist's control and goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere and none of them belong to the skeleton. If that gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Seemingly satisfied with the carnage it has caused, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and then shuffles off to the south. Yikes. 
Hmm. Black book on the pedestal. Intermediate next mechs. Hmm. Now, I've decided that I'm going to avoid using these next mechs books because I think it's going to make me evil, and I would rather not do that. This is Grutch. This is what the skeleton wrote. Must be its name? Hmm. I have stench resistance, so I got a discipline slip. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at that. You read over the infraction listed on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious! You stick the slip into your journal. I should check that out. So we've got a fair bit of stuff so far. And that appears to be everything in this little area here. So we have got the puzzle down there, and we really need to get safe cracking. If we get safe cracking, then we're going to be able to get something cool. That I'm certain of. There is something hiding in this graveyard. But for that, we're going to leave it off right now. And we're going to mosey on down to something else. Let's go to the old medicine show. I'm curious. What do we have here? Your El Vibrato Gizmo bleeps. As far as you know, the only way to get to stop making that noise is to find whatever it is it's so excited about. It turns out to be in a crate, which is potentially exciting for both of you, if you can unlock it. So we need a keystone, which we do not have yet. We'll keep our, mind, our eyes open for that. So Old Medicine Show. What do we got? Docile Automatics Milkshake Hour? What the hell? Anything else? What is this? Dump. Former residence nightstand. Ooh, this person was a snake oiler. Snake liver, snake bladder, snake spleen. Perfect. Oh. Potion making equipment. Oils I have known. Teaches you how to make advanced boozes, oils, and potions. Fantastic. Well, this is very good for our character. You can brew up impressive snake oil concoctions. So that's what our spleen is for. Okay. Ironically, the oils from your fingers destroyed the fragile old book while you were reading it. Well, damn. Now we can make some stuff. Okay. So let's make some potions. Let's combine... The venom gland with the liver. Okay. So it's a buff. And let's combine it with a spleen. This increases maximum HP. Okay. Let's try something else now. Let's make booze. We have a liver. Let's combine it with a venom gland. Snake juice. Oh my god. So we have to remember that. We have Venom, pop a liver, and then we add the um, Venom Gland. Okay, liver, Venom Gland, and we get Snake Juice. So 10, ten range for the rest of the day. That's unbelievable. Okay, let's, uh, let's try liver and a spleen. Snake Schnapps. So, wow, this is actually really fantastically useful. We're going to get very, very strong with this. So, as far as combat items, this might be good. Let's get um, a liver. Deals hot damage. Okay. And then venomous bullet oil. Deals some damage to an enemy and poisons them. Okay. So, this is very, very good. Wow, we've got some fantastic stuff here. And we can come back anytime we want with snake parts. And we're going to be able to make potions. So all we have to do is go back to Snake Spring. And then um, after getting some snake parts at Snake Spring, we can come back here, make potions. So what I'm going to do right now, we are down to nothing here. So we are going to down some snake schnapps. Drink it. Schnappy dresser. Ha <laughs> ha! And then we're going to take a shot of snake juice. 
now we are very 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 strong we do a lot of damage so I think that's good for now <laughs> I'm quite pleased with these acquisitions but we'll make sure to remember to come back here later so what else do we have let's head to the railroad camp and see what we find along the way because for sure we're gonna find stuff uh, deep gravelly exhalation of breath behind you and you realize that you've been ambushed by a hell cow big one too let's grab it by the horns oh my god we do so much damage now suck it hell cow 40 XP tainted milk and infernal soul fragment hmm interesting just call me the butcher well these guys again you get blocked again I would laugh if that were the case okay howdy boss howdy Smee stuck again yep got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building any ideas there's an old mine in a town up north called Breadwood they opened a lumber camp from the mines after the mines dried up you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need I can handle the engineering side of things Okay, where is it? Redwood. I'll see what I can do. Now, I am certain that there's still stuff that we could go back and do. Um, oh. Hmm. Ow. Damn. Alright, so we got another town to go to. What the hell? Guys stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans? Well, I never. What a dick. He wouldn't give us jelly beans. <laughs> Breadwood. Let's go take a look at this town. Ooh, we might find another spittoon. Your El Vibrato transponder thingy bleeps, and you follow the bleeps to a shallow cave that you think might be a bear den? Fortunately, the bear isn't in it right now, and you find a weird crate at the back. El Vibrato scraps... El Vibrato Punch Card, and El Vibrato Teleporter. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to go see our uh, professor friend again later. What the hell? Is that a drunk horse? Well then, what do you have to say, Doc? Alice looks at the map. There's a military cemetery near here. The territory's military cemetery? Hush, this is important. We're talking about a very large graveyard filled with the skeletons of soldiers. Oh, yeah, that could be bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we forgot to go back to see Bernard. We'll do that later. Thanks for the reminder, Doc. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on with this drunk horse. You know a town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Oh, yeah, big time. Breadwood Mayor. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Phil McCracken, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. Alright. I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem. I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? The mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. Offer to help with his problems. Maybe I could help with some of your problems. Hero, yeah, thank you. I'd certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. You glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current issues as well as a dire warning. Which problem do you want to offer to help with? Hmm. Let's look at the missing mail. Our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go we'll talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman, so he can tell you where to start your search. You got it. What else we got here? Public library. Soup kitchen. East armory. Interesting. 
Wow, this is a dump town. Oh, you poor, poor sad horse. Where the hell? Oh, there's a dude over there. Can we flush this toilet? Yes. Wow. That is an interesting perk. Master of flushing. Wash it up. Much better. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. Hmm. You have to admire a man who is focused on his beard growing. Howdy. Are you Reginald? Who the focaccia are you? Name's Phil McCracken. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail. Said you could uh, give me a line on where to start looking. Oh. Yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt they've changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. Discovered a new map location. Postal way station. Thanks. Hey, there's another dude. This guy's just chilling by the fire. Must not be a very good fire. Ho 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 ho. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi Hobart. I'm Phil McCracken. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fella a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I heard they've got one at the Petting Cemetery, but... The what? Petting Cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? Nah, I got no prospects of paying it back. But I got a camera, and I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, you know what? I'll take it. Great, thanks a bundle. So I have an owl camera. And... Discover a new map location. Petting Cemetery. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, owl be back. Owl K, I'll be back. Owl. <laughs> Uh, Holloway's Pin. Hmm. It's a nice lapel pin, but I think we're okay for the moment. Actually, what do we have on our lapel? Revolting Brooch. Is that what this is? Yes, it is. Uh, what would be better? 20 HP? Eh, uh... HP is nothing to sneeze at. Hmm. Let's go take a look elsewhere. Actually, we are... Hmm. Heading cemeteries down there. We got a couple of stuff. Man, there's a lot of cemeteries here. I, there's a big focus on undead in this game. That's something I've definitely noticed. And uh, that's troublesome when you're a snake weller because we revolve around... Poison. So if you're fighting undead all the time, that's not really going to help. Good thing I've got Doc Alice, though. Alexandria Ranch. You know what? Let's take a look at the Alexandria Ranch, just because I'm tired of trolling graveyards. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of cows. Luckily, I can shoot a lot of cows. Ooh, multiple cows at once. Can I do it? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> wow, I wrecked them. Good job, Alice. Yeah, we are way too strong for these cows. I wonder how many more there are. Painted beef steak. Anything here? Jesus. What is it with these ranches? Every ranch is just blown to bits. Diary of Alexandria, Alexandria. Well, let's take a look. You flip through the diary. Most of it is uneventful, describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. It ends with a passage about a soldier from the nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify. So she moved her most valuable books to the cellar and took the ordinary precautions, example boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out that isn't much good against cannonballs. Hmm... Who'd have thunk? 
But we need to find our way down to the cellar. Books are wrecked. The volumes are ruined. The tomes are kaput. This hurts me most deeply. Ooh, modern snake oiler. Hooray, everyone. We get a new skill. Okay. So we have shoot nanny. We have strong medicine. This increases your muscle mysticality and moxie, so it's a combat buff. And quick on the draw, a skill that increases your speed. Uh, let's take quick on the draw. It's kind of a lame skill, unless we can pump it up a lot. Then you notice that you also can't see the magazine. You must have dropped it somewhere while you were moving so fast. Whoops! Okay. So... Hmm. Oh, quick on the draw is a, uh, a miscellaneous skill. Wow. So we can pump up our speed quite a bit. Let's do that. Wow, we are very, very fast now. Now, do we want to... I mean, we've gotten so much stronger in combat because of the skills that we've gotten. Let's... Um, you know what? Let's... Uh, I'm sorry, Ulysses, but uh, we're going to have to go with the uh, horn swoggling here. We want to max this out because there's certainly going to be something that's going to be needed with that. I guarantee it. And potionology. Oh, wow. We can actually boost our potionology too. Yeah, we have to do this. So potionology and um, let's also do... Do another level of snake whip in case we run into something particularly nasty and also snake whip poisons and because of our expert poisoner we get triple poison so once we max out our snake whip we're probably going to be dealing 15 poison so every round they take 15 damage which is a big big deal uh, we still actually have some xp so we're going to go quick on the draw again and uh, we are quite set now is there anything else that would be useful here. Half a cannonball, the front half. You pick up the cannonball and inspect it. There's an inscription that you can mostly read. It says the cannonball came from Fort Treason and it's got the address stamped right onto the surface. You discovered a new map location, Fort Treason. This bombardment was done by the army. The horror. Now apparently there are valuable books in the basement. But apparently we can't get there. That's really unfortunate. I am disappointed. Ah, oh, well. We found a new map location. And uh, we got some good stuff today. Yeah, I think uh, I think now is as good a spot as any to, uh, to take a break. So uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today. Uh, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, as usual. I appreciate those. It gives me a kick. And um, I'll be happy to, to, to make changes to, to my character, as you suggest, if you make the suggestion. You can follow me on social media, on uh, Twitter, Steam, Reddit, uh, Instagram. Um, anything else I'm forgetting? Anyway. You can see it in my channel. All my links are there. Click on them. It's fun. I'll uh, gladly interact with you. Um, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching today. I uh, appreciate you taking the time. As always, uh, enjoy your evening and peace. Take care, everyone.